Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so this video is to offer you some wisdom from my build, specifically basic orientation and the land acquisition process. Every house needs to be designed specifically for the site that it is intended for. Make sure you design your house for less direct sunlight on your walls. Ensure that the living area are located to receive as much access to prevailing breezes as possible. Do this before you buy your block of land. The second topic that I would like to share with you, basically the seven commandments of buying land in Africa. So before buying a piece of land, make sure you do due diligence on, on that property. Uh, there's no standard procedure in acquiring land in Africa. Uh, so this raises the risk of buying a disputed piece of land. So the onus is therefore on you to check for any fraudulent behavior from the seller. Number two on the seven commandments. After doing a background check on the seller, you also need to check with the lands commission to verify whether the land actually belongs to that individual or that group. Number three, uh, you need to establish the area you want to acquire the land from. Find a set of location and have the seller provide you with a site plan prepared by a licensed surveyor. Basically, the site plan will show you the precise location and the coordinates of the land. This site plan will also help prevent ownership disputes as the land commission keeps copies in their office. The next one on our list is hire an independent surveyor to basically cross check the land against the site plan or reduce the risk of the dispute. Number five is all lands are sold as leasehold or freehold. Buying in land in some African countries can only be done as a leasehold and not as a freehold agreement. A freehold is land that you own forever. A leasehold, on the other hand, is property that can be sold for limited duration. Maximum ownership duration can be 99 years. Number six, draft and sign a purchase and transfer agreement. Before making payment, make sure to draft a purchase and transfer agreement endorsed by you and the seller. It will help to have a lawyer assist you in drafting such an agreement to protect your interest. Number seven, register with Lands Commission. Ensure that you inform the Lands Commission about the transaction and apply for a transfer and registration of the land. The Lands Commission will provide you with a title certificate and a site plan at a later date. Is if you're not planning to build right away, make sure you either enclose the area or have someone to, to watch over your land or you have some type of footprint in, in, in your land. Or well, there you have it. This is how to orient your house before you purchase your land and a, a list of things to watch out for when buying land. So in other videos, we'll get into a wide range of other topics for building a rigorous house with less hiccups. So consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks uh, for watching. Hope this is helpful and I will speak to you soon.